This is a Portronics Toad One wireless optical mouse. Now the special thing about this mouse is that I have these side buttons over here. I can press this button to copy a text like this. And then I can press this button to paste a text like this. It has everything you need like RGB panels, rechargeable battery, Bluetooth support and a USB nano receiver. It allows you to connect with up to 3 devices and is priced just under 600 rupees. I can't wait to start this review. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. This is the box of the Toad 1 4-in-1 wireless optical mouse. As you can see, this optical mouse comes with a nano USB receiver with 2.4 GHz technology, RGB lights, connects with two Bluetooth devices and uses a rechargeable battery. Here are the contents of the box. Next is the mouse. This is a premium feeling mouse with a large size and glossy finish. It allows you to comfortably rest your hand while using it. Let's start by weighing the mouse. As you can see, it weighs about 82 grams. On the top, you will find the left and right click buttons, a scroll wheel, an adjustable DPI button, the RGB lighting, and forward and backward navigation buttons on the side. It has a charging port that allows you to use the mouse while it's charging via a USB cable connected to your laptop. On the bottom, there is an on and off switch. There is also a switch that lets you toggle between using the nano USB receiver and a Bluetooth. To use the nano receiver, simply plug it into a USB port on your device. And when done, you can store it neatly in the slot provided in the mouse. Next, let's install it with a laptop. Take out the USB receiver from the slot of the mouse using your index finger. Then connect it to your laptop's USB port. Next go to the mouse and turn the switch to the on position. You will see a blue light indicating the mouse is in the Bluetooth mode. To connect the mouse to the nano USB receiver, press the switch twice. You will see the green light showing that it's now connected to your USB receiver. Now as I move the mouse, you can see the cursor moving simultaneously. Let's go to an Amazon page to test it out further. First, let's scroll down. I can smoothly scroll up and down the page using the mouse scroll wheel. I can adjust the DPI sensitivity with this button. When I press the DPI button once, the cursor moves fast. When I press it again, the movement is now slower. Other than this cursor movement, there is no visual indicator of the current DPI level. Next is a forward and backward side buttons. Let's see how to use that. So here I am on the Portronics product page. So let me click on this HP mouse listing on Amazon. Now when I click the forward button, nothing happens. But when I click the back button, it takes me back to the previous Portronics mouse page which I was on. Again, when I click the forward button, it goes forward to the HP page. You can even customize the actions of the side buttons, which I will show you in a bit. Right now, I have removed the USB nano receiver from my laptop. As I move the mouse, you can see the cursor is no longer moving on the screen. Let me use the trackpad for now. On my laptop, I will go to the Bluetooth settings. And here, you can see no devices are currently available. To get the mouse in the Bluetooth mode, I will turn it over and press the switch again. It immediately connects as the Todd 1 Bluetooth device indicated by the blue light. Now let me go back to my laptop's Bluetooth settings and click refresh. You will now see Todd 1 listed as a nearby device. Let's click connect. It's now saying that the Todd 1 mouse is connected and even it shows the battery percentage. Alright, so now let's test it out. So let me move the mouse around and there you go. The cursor is moving seamlessly. So that's how you connect your mouse with your laptop using Bluetooth. To connect your mouse with a second device like a tablet, 
press the switch to get in the Todd OnePlus mode. Now on your tablet, go to the Bluetooth settings. You should see the Todd OnePlus page listed as an available device. Simply select it and click pair to connect. Once paired, it will show as connected on your tablet. Now let me grab the mouse and move it around. You can see that the cursor is moving really smoothly. Now if I click on a YouTube icon for example, I can play a video like this. Okay, so, okay, so, so far this seems to work really well. So here I have got my laptop and tablet set up and let's see how to switch between these two devices. Right now as you can see the mouse is connected to my laptop. To switch over to my tablet, I'm just going to press the button on the bottom of the mouse and then I'm going to select Todd OnePlus mode. Now the mouse cursor is moving inside the tablet screen instead of the laptop. And just like that, you can switch between multiple devices using this mouse. So here are some of the key highlights of this mouse. Now the default function of the side key is to go forward and backward between web pages. To customize its actions, you need a software like Steer Mouse for Mac or X Mouse for Windows. So here I am on the Steer Mouse page. Let me download the latest version of the software. So I have installed the software. I will link a separate video on how to install the software here. Now let me open Steer Mouse from my system. Now as you can see, Steer Mouse has automatically recognized my device. You will also see that the button 4, which is the bottom button, is mapped to going back while the button 5, which is the top button, is for going forward. To change it to something like command C and command V, let's click on button 4 and select keyboard shortcut and change it to command V. Same way, go to button 5 and select the keyboard shortcut to command C. So this is done and we are good to go. Now let's test it out. Let us go to a page we want to copy. So I have copied the text using button 5. And then let me go to another page and paste it using button 4. And as you can see, this has worked as expected. Wow, I am really glad that this worked. So just like that, you can change the buttons to do something like a three finger swipe or switch between tabs. So let's talk about the size of this mouse. To give you a better idea, let me compare the Toad one with a standard mouse like Dell. As you can see, Toad one is quite bigger. So this could be an advantage if you have really large hands. Next, let's check out the clicking sound on this mouse. I'll start with the Dell mouse and here is how the sound looks. As you heard, the clicks on the Dell mouse are fairly standard. Now here is how the Portronix Toad one sounds. The sound is not very quiet but it's not too loud either. When the mouse is on, you can see all this RGB lighting here. To better showcase the RGB effects, you can go ahead and bring this button right to this bulb icon. Okay, so now I have enabled the RGB mode and here is how it looks. Now let me go ahead and just switch off my lights and here is how the RGB lights look. So one good thing about this mouse is that it works on a normal surface like this without needing a mouse pad. So the previous one which I was using, the Dell, it required a mouse pad but this doesn't require. So that's really a very convenient factor for this mouse. The charging cable that we get from the package is very small as you can see in the screen. But don't worry, you can use any C type phone charger instead. So you can simply connect the charging cable to the computer and connect it to the mouse. And then you can start using the mouse normally. And when the mouse is charging, you will see a light on the scroll wheel uh, like this. It takes about 3.5 hours to charge this mouse and the charge lasts for about 7 to 9 days. 
So overall, the Portronic Stored One is an excellent wireless Bluetooth mouse for the budget of 600 rupees. If you are a gamer or a content creator and you are looking for a budget wireless Bluetooth mouse, then I would highly recommend this particular mouse. If you are interested to buy this, you will find the link to buy in the description of this video. So do check that out. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, do give it a like and share it with your friends. And till we meet again next time, this is Vaishak signing off from Vaishak Talks. Take care and bye.